Hi everyone. Today I painted. Oh, that's stuck to the canvas. Okay, I painted this with this ultramarine blue, and I'm going to have to paint the back again. I could see because I left it sitting on this paper towel. But anyways, let's get started. This is the number two rock from the Happy Dotting Company, and I'll link to it. Now, when I painted this ultramarine blue, you can probably see it's kind of blotchy. And I did like four layers trying to get it even, and it didn't come even. So I'm just going to go with it because my dots are going to mainly cover it. And we'll see how it turns out. So to start out with, I'm going to use the number 14. And I'm going to use the Snow Titanium White for my center dot. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to my number three. And I'm going to do some dots around it. As always, I always start out with the four. So one above, one below, and one to each side. And then I'm going to do two dots between. And that will make 12 dots. Okay, and I'm going to do another row, still with the number three of white, right in between the other ones. Now I'm going to go up to the number four, and I'm going to move on to a lighter blue color, this baby blue. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go in between them. I'm going to move up to the number five. And I'm also going to change my color and go to this ocean blue. Now up to the number six, and I'm going to get yet a darker color. This is Sapphire. Now I'm up to the number seven, and I have one last darker shade, which is this true blue color.
Now I'm going to go up a bit. Let's go to the number 14. And I'm going to use one of the lighter shades of blue. I think that second one, the ocean blue color. And I'm just going to go out just a bit from these and just kind of put it in between and space it. In between those, but try and keep it even going around. Now I'm going to put another dot. I'm going to use this vivid violet color. And I'm going to put a dot right above those with the number five. So just right at the top of those dots we just made. Okay. And now I'm gonna walk dots around and I'm going to use the number two in white and I'm going to walk dots around these blue dots Alright, now I'm going to go again with the number 14. And I'm going to put another dot in between these. And I'm going to use this lavender color. Okay, then I'm going to mock dots again. I think this time I'll use a number three. And I'm going to use white again. Okay, so now I'm going to use a lighter color purple and I'm going to outline what I just did. Let's see what this color is called. This is Purple Cow. And 
and I'm still using the number three. And I'm just going to do another layer of dots. I'm actually just going to do, I think, five dots, one center, and then go two off to the sides. Okay, and now I want to incorporate a little bit more pink because I do have that fuchsia in there. So I got this bubblegum pink and I'm still going to use the number three. And I'm going to put another dot on either end of what we just walked. And then one right underneath the bottom of those purples. Then I'm going to go up, I think. Let's go to at least the number four. And I'm gonna incorporate yet another color purple. This time it's the Wisteria. It's a very, very light purple. And I'm gonna make a number four dot right in between these purples to fill that little space in a little bit. I'm going to go back to that royal fuchsia color. It's been a while, so I had to mix it. And I'm going to put a dot right in between these down in that royal fuchsia. So kind of just center it under those light pink dots that we just did. Okay, so I like that fade effect in the middle, and I don't know that I want a top dot on those. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to these blue ones to start out, and I'm gonna use the number eight. And I wanna go a shade lighter, so I'm gonna go the lightest one I used, which is the baby blue. And I'm gonna top dot on those. Okay, and still using the number eight, I'm going to top dot on these darker purple, and I'm going to use that wisteria color. six and I'm gonna type or type I'm gonna top dot these royal fuchsias with the bubblegum pink now using the number four I'm gonna top dot white to these blue ones 
Make sure you mix your paint if it's been sitting there a while. So mine's already chunking up on me. And I'm debating top dotting these in white too. Oh, what the heck, why not? I'm still using the number four. I'm just going to tap the centers. Really debating if I should do something dotting on that, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Because sometimes if you add too much, it ruins it. So, this is where we're at. And I hope you like it. If you're still with me and not a subscriber, I would love to have you as one. If you like the video, then click the like. And if you want to be notified when there's new videos, click the bell. Thank you, everyone. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.